Back when I was 16, I used to play poker almost on a daily basis. A clandestine table we used to organize in the back room of a coffee shop. Everyone there was around my age. We knew each other for a while and were all already playing poker for some time. There was this new guy that was starting to hang out with us. He had zero clue of what poker was yet wanted to start playing at all costs. Let's call him Jack, for simplicity. Given that he was a year younger than us, and had zero experience. We all thought it letting him play would be stealing his money. We kept refusing him. Paradoxically, it just made him even more eager to play. He started stalking some of us, and begged people to take him to the table just to watch so that he can learn. After some time, he managed to come with one of the guys and started coming often although he didn't play. Yet, at this stage, Jack didn't smoke or drink. He was part of the high school soccer team and was pretty athletic. By coming often to the poker games, which was held in a small room with a very little window and where everyone smoked, Jack started to get high every time he came. A lot of smoke does that for people who never smoked before. Day after day, he tried smoking and even started to bring his own tobacco and pot. It only took him a month to start smoking. He probably thought at the time that if he just did like everyone else, maybe he'll get a chance to play. Funny thing is that during this whole period, what Jack was focusing on is becoming more like the people around him. He never started learning poker or watching the hands played. How could he? He was always high. Fast forward, a few months later, Jack starts playing poker, keeps losing his money and is now addicted to cannabis. At some point, he just became a regular, you know that type of guy who are always at the same place. The poker games became his home. He wanted to get his money back. Little did he know that everyone saw him as a prey at a table. People outside our group started calling him for poker games, as he was an easy player. He would lose 99% of the time. One year after the start of all of this, Jack started missing class to play games to get high. He got kicked out from the soccer team and would soon see himself kicked out from the school. Question is, how did this happen to him but not to the others? Simple. He tried to please everyone and become everyone's friend. So whenever someone was organizing a poker table, he was ready to skip class to play even though he lost most of the time. Throughout the years, Jack and I became closer. And I couldn't help but notice every time we met that his addictions for gambling and cannabis were both getting more and more serious. What initially was an effort to fit it became his new identity. Today, a decade later, all of us have stopped gambling, most of us have stopped smoking. Except Jack. He has become addicted to gambling and smokes like he's Snoop Dogg. It's fun and sad to notice how someone inherits his vices from other people. People who have even tried to keep him out of all of this. Yet his need to fit and be appreciated redefined his life path. What could have been an athletic smart guy is now a gambling pothead that does nothing else.